it's beer o'clock on real ale craft beer and welcome to the world's strongest beer it's brewed in collaboration with Brewdog and George Brown now there's been a, a back and forth between these two companies for the last decade I would say George Brown brought out a world's strongest beer Brewdog hit back with their own sink the Bismarck Shorsh Brown brought out something else, was about 50% I believe and then Brewed Out brought out End of History. There's been a controversial brewer that has done stuff in between that, mentioning no names at all, um, that it turned out the beer was only 15% ABV when it should have been a lot stronger. Um, they came back with their own Snake Venom beer but this is an ice buck. This is the, the, the real deal between these two. I would say the most authentic kind of breweries who have tried this world's strongest beer thing. Now, immediately, we have some wax to play with. Will it come off? Hmm. Yes, look at that, we've broken the wax. And we are in. There we go, 57.8% ABV, 2020 World's Strongest Beer. You can, it's a 40 milliliter bottle. I picked this up on Brewdog's website. Nice little Brewski Val tasting glass for this to go in. I don't want too much of this, of course. We'll go a little bit more, maybe. So what is it? What is an ice buck? First of all, I think we should review it. I can smell it already. The aroma from here is amazing. It's like treacle. Look at the alcohol legs rolling down that glass. Look at that. I've never seen so much alcohol legs in all my life. So it's a, it's a kind of a amber, cherry, red coloured ale. Aroma. <laughs> it was brewed in Germany. It was brewed at Schorschbrau in Germany. Martin Dickey from Brewdog went over to brew this beer with Schorsch Brown. Um, it's definitely an ice buck, without a shadow of a doubt, it's definitely an ice buck. So it's a buck, it, it's, a, it's a, a strong buck, German buck style ale with dark malts. And it's really roasty and toasty this beer and then you just get a ton of alcohol I'll tell you the process in a moment how they do it but I'm gonna dive into this cheers everybody um, that's warmed everything that's warmed all of the inside of my mouth, my throat. I can feel it burning its way down. It's like all the way down into my chest area, all the way down into my, my stomach. I can feel the liquid literally making its way down into my stomach. Wow. Um, it's really, it's almost hot. I, I, I was about to say it's warming. It's almost hot. Flavour-wise, it's getting me all warm and tacky. Woof! Flavour-wise, <coughs> that's the strongest beer. <coughs> that's the strongest anything I've ever had in my life. Um, you definitely get. That. I'm going to reseal it so we don't lose any of that because it's going to evaporate out the bottle. Um, 
strength in numbers. Once the alcohol passes, you get a big reflection of the ice bock, the bock. The warming in the throat is insane. It's insane, but it's, it's really malty, it's really caramel-like and almost chocolatey. There's a little bit of the banana going on in there, crazily, all of these kind of like flavours that, that you would, wouldn't usually associate with such a strong alcoholic beverage. Um, world's strongest beer, absolute worth a try as a beer channel. You guys were expecting to see this review, so we gave this, re this review to you. Would I drink this? Would I go to a Brewdog bar? Or if I seen this, would I buy it and sit in the corner of the, the room and drink a bottle of this? Just because I feel like it? Because I like it? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is this is this is for the record books. This is for the record books. Books. This is this is world's strongest beer between I believe two of the companies that absolutely deserve it. They went on this battle, um, Brewdog and Shawshbra. They went on this battle for over a decade, and finally they came together and realised strength in numbers. Let's do it together. Let's get in the record books. And I don't think well, it's going to be one incredible incredible brewery that comes along and beats this this might be the end of history as it is as it is ironically by saying it ironically like that because brew dogs beer was called end of history so how do they make an ice bock so basically what they do um beer will or beer yeast will get to about 12, 13%, maybe 14% of the push, certain yeast strains will get to that limit and then it'll start to kind of die on itself. It's producing alcohol, producing alcohol is going from 10 to 11 to 12 to 13 and then it starts to die in its own poo-poo, if you like, because the, the yeast eats all of the sugar and, and poops it out as alcohol. You know, that's the most basic kind of term I can I can see it as um, and it gets to 13 14% ABV and then the yeast starts to die on itself because the alcohol becomes too much so how do I, you're asking yourself the question how does it get to 57.8% ABV cleverly cleverly what these two breweries have done to create this beer it's called an ice bock and and they freeze they freeze the beer alcohol doesn't freeze so the water clumps together in a frozen block. They kind of fish it out with, with nets or whatever they fish the ice, big ice cubes out with. And you're left with more of a concentrated solution in the bottom. So a 10% beer then becomes perhaps a 20% beer. I don't know the figures offhand, um, but, but that's the, 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 the idea behind this ice block. But what they do then, they keep freezing it. They freeze it again, they take some more ice away. Let it warm up, freeze it again, take more ice away. And they keep taking water away from the beer until it gets to 57.8% ABV. And that's the process. That's the process. And that's the reason why it costs. With delivery, with delivery, it was, it was about 20, 28 pound without delivery and the delivery was and I paid another chart something else anyway it was 35 pound delivered to my home worth it you got the you got that right to say you know if somebody you know you you, you get someone talking at a bar going oh I've had this beer it was brewed in Scotland and it was rather strong and then you can go you can you can kind of pipe up if you like and go actually have you tried the world's strongest beer? And then you can go into it and talk about it for the rest of your life, if you like, that you've drank the world's strongest beer. It's not very pleasant. It's not very pleasant at all. The warming's gone away a bit. Oh, it's like treacle. It's like treacle. Um, you get a sense of the hops, you get a sense of the, the malts. But it's also concentrated. It's also concentrated that it kind of like, whoa. It comes a point with me 
when you get an when you get um, uh, an alcoholic drink up to a certain level, I do that anyway. I'm not very good with strong alcoholic drinks. I kind of go, Ugh. you know. I don't like to drink straight rum. I don't like to drink straight vodka. I don't like to drink anything like uh, about that 40% ABV. I find I like honey rum at about 15, 16%, 17%. That's lovely. But when we're up now to 57.8% ABV, whew, nah. It's not for me. So what are Brewdog and Shawsbrow saying about this beer then? Um, beer, 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 bottled at Shawsbrow Brewery. Uh, Richard Stunkler, Stunklin, uh, Gunshausen in Germany. Imported by Brewdog PLC to Allen in Scotland. So, ingredients, as you would expect because it's a beer, water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops and yeast. Isn't that brilliant? So it's a beer, the world's strongest beer. Do you get me? Do you understand where I'm coming from with the freezing? With the, if you're new to beer, um, did you catch all of that? If not, We'll all get into the comments box below the video and we'll all talk about it because I'm pretty sure there's some fantastic qualified brewers out there that probably knows the process an awful lot more than me. You never even know. You, you never know. We might even have the, the great man himself jump on, James Watt, if I can convince him to come on and answer a few comments. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, all the warmings down in my chest. Difficult to rate it. I mean, difficult to rate it out of 10 because... Um, it's a very, very unique product. Um, but I rate everything out of 10. And I think just for the sheer effort of this, it's an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10. And it finally puts to bed that, that snake venom beer where allegedly, allegedly they just added alcohol to the, to the beer. It wasn't actually brewed to the Whatever the strength snake venom was, they added alcohol to it. This is the real deal. 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Put your comments in the comments box. Please comment, subscribe, and boom and cheers. <laughs>